What's the difference between progressive glasses lenses and normal ones? I'll break that down, explain the pros and cons of each type, and try to answer which one of those is better. All glasses and contacts correct for refractive errors in your eyes. That means your eye is supposed to take in light from far away, focus that down to a little point on your retina on the back of your eye. But nearsightedness can cause that light to focus sooner than it should, and farsightedness can cause that light to focus later than it should, so it hasn't come to a point of focus yet by the time it hits your retina. Both of those make your vision blurry, and glasses and contacts either push back the point of focus if you have nearsightedness, or move up the point of focus if you have farsightedness, giving you sharp vision again. But not all glasses lenses are the same. I'll talk about progressive lenses and what that means, but first I need to define a couple of the most important things that describe normal glasses lenses. When you look at your eye prescription, the first number you see will be under spherical or SPH. And that number describes the overall power of your lenses. If that is a negative number, that means that you have nearsightedness and you have negative or minus lenses that are pushing back that point of focus, again, so it's on your retina where it should be. And if there's a positive number there, that means that you have positive or plus lenses that correct for farsightedness, moving up your point of focus, adding some extra optical power to your eyes. But there may also be an add or addition number to your eye prescription. If you have any value there, you have progressive lenses. A progressive lens just means that it doesn't have the same power across the whole lens. A normal spherical lens will have one curve across the whole thing, whether it's again a positive or negative lens, focusing the light or spreading that light out. But progressive lenses have different powers across different parts of the lens, with the top of the lens having a little less optical power and the bottom being a little bit stronger. So the benefit of that is if you're wearing progressive lenses, you look through the tops of the lenses for looking at stuff far away from you. But if you're trying to read, if you're looking at stuff up close to you, you have the stronger power at the bottom. It's like wearing reading glasses, but the benefit of progressive lenses is that you don't have to wear multiple pairs of glasses for different situations. They let you see far away well, they let you see up close well, and then more of the middle of the lens are better corrected for intermediate viewing like looking at a computer or something else that's kind of close to you, but not right up to your face. So that's pretty cool. The simplest form of progressive lenses are bifocals, where there's just one line in them separating a lower optical power at the top versus a stronger power at the bottom. So bifocals are the old school version of this, while modern progressive lenses have more of a gradual change across the lens to those different regions of different optical powers. That sounds awesome, being able to do multiple different things with one pair of glasses, but there are some cons to progressive lenses. So some people experience some distortion or could even be nauseous if you're not used to these because there's this gradual change in power across the lens and it can make some things look a little warped, especially if you're not used to it. One important thing to consider is that it's not just how lenses correct for your vision that impacts what you see. Your brain is used to interpreting the messed up vision you're naturally used to. That's why if somebody gets a new pair of glasses, things may actually look worse right away because your brain and your eyes are used to correcting for the errors that you're used to. So switching to the lenses, your brain has to retrain itself. So people with progressive lenses may experience that a little bit more than people getting a new pair of normal glasses where it takes a little extra long for them to adjust to the new lenses. Maybe a couple of weeks as opposed to a couple of days. Progressive lenses are also a little more expensive than normal glasses. They have this funkier shape to them, so they're just a little more complex to make, and that adds some extra cost. But especially if you're somebody who has a pair of reading glasses and then, you know, some different pairs of glasses for seeing far away, progressive lenses can be super helpful for letting you experience all those different situations while having clear vision. It just takes a little bit for you to get used to understanding how to look through the tops of the lenses for distance, you know, looking through the bottom for reading up close. But that second part's a little natural. If you're reading something, you're usually looking down at it anyway. You can have progressive contacts too, not just glasses. And it's the same thing there where your contact lens will have some different curvature and different optical power across different parts of the contact. And when comparing modern progressive lenses to bifocals, a lot of people like the look of progressive lenses better. Having that sharp line in bifocals can kind of make you look older. A lot of people may experience less peripheral vision using progressive lenses too. It's harder to see stuff at the very far edges of what you can see because of some of those distortions happening in those regions.
but you can't deny the benefits of progressive lenses letting you see well in a bunch of different situations. So the people that would benefit the most from this, again, are people that might use multiple pairs of glasses for different things. You can talk to your eye doctor about how you might struggle to see in different situations, and maybe a pair of progressive lenses is the best way for you to see well in all those different cases without needing multiple pairs of glasses. It's definitely best to talk to your eye doctor as they can work with you to figure out what's the best answer for your particular case.